Welcome back. In this tutorial, I will continue my lecture on why IT governance. In the earlier tutorial, I had taken a negative spin on IT that it is like a black hole, it's complex, projects generally are delayed. One of the reasons is that when a project commences, one really does not know as to what should be the outcome and as we go through a project life cycle the user and the end user requirements become much more clearer as a result of which we have project uh, overruns in terms of scope time cost and sometimes to balance it even quality in this, I would take a different perspective on IT governance and why IT governance. But first, let me start off by giving a very simple explanation as to what is governance. A governance, by governance, I mean balancing, reward and risk. Enterprise governance is all about finding an optimal balance between reward and risk. The organization plans certain activities to achieve certain objectives that meet the strategic vision. But with every activity, there are related risks. Balancing the risks in pursuit of the rewards is what governance is about. In the earlier web, earlier tutorial I had said that governance is about having leadership which sets a strategic direction through which evolve the organizational objectives which translate into an organizational structure with roles, responsibilities and accountabilities which are managed in turn to achieve the vision. That was one way of saying it. The other way of seeing the same thing is it is about balancing reward and risk. Why a special consideration for IT? Why IT governance is important? Is because IT is a unique domain in an organization wherein it has the capability to sustain the business operations, grow the business operations, and transform the business operations. And IT governance is about exploiting the IT value based on all the three. And as one evolves through IT governance, the emphasis is on lowering the costs involved in sustaining and growing and having the focus more on the IT being able to transform the business. It could be because of a new business model based on IT that generates higher profits, higher revenues, or knowledge management based on IT that generates a competitive advantage, or any other factor that emerges because of the ability to transform the business. Hence, IT governance is important. Back to rewards and risks. In IT governance, the rewards are the objectives that are to be achieved by the IT so that the organization achieves its strategic objectives. This is about the value delivery. Reward in IT governance is the value delivery. And risk is the risk management and associated with these two so we have reward and risks as the performance measures sorry they are the outcome measures and then we have the output or the performance measures
So what's the difference between the two? L one common example which is cited to explain the difference is, let's say that in a particular country, I want to eradicate smallpox. And therefore, all children below the age of 12 are to be vaccinated with the smallpox vaccine. The number of vaccinations is an output measure or it's a performance measure. The percentage drop in the polio because of the vaccinations is the outcome measure. So outcome measure is always linked with a strategic goal and how we perform with respect to that goal. Outcome, output. The output measures could further be classified into process measures and activity measures. So for example, uh, the number of hours invested by the physicians for vaccinating the children, that could be a process measure. The amount of money spent in the vaccinations. One is the cost of vaccination and the cost of vaccinating the children. That could be an output measure. Just observing the output measure would not help an organization because they do not indicate as to what is the outcome. They help if they are based on a proper feedback, timely feedback to improve the outcome measures. But they in themselves do not actually indicate the outcome. In IT governance, we have reward and risk as the outcome measures, which I said was value delivery and risk management. And the output of the performance measures are the performance management, the resource management, and the strategic alignment. This brings me to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for listening and please be back.